Hey guys, welcome to the first video of the year. I have come up with a tutorial series in which we will learn how to build a serverless REST API using AWS and the Python programming language. The main focus will be on AWS, the Amazon Web Services, which is the world's most comprehensive and broadly adopted cloud platform. It offers a lot of services which are required for different aspects of software development. So what we will do here is that we will create a REST API in Python programming language by using a set of AWS services. Since this is just the first video, I am actually going to give you a brief overview of what AWS is and why is it so awesome. So without any delay, let's get started. So AWS is the subsidiary of the largest MNC in the world, Amazon. So AWS was actually founded in 2006 and Today, in 2020, it is actually providing the support for over 250 different kind of products. So here is a kind of a catalog where you can see multiple categories and then in each category there are multiple types of products. Like for analytics, these are the different types of products and in application integration and so on. So the most important thing here is compute. So compute simply means the server or any kind of platform that you require to run your application. So the most basic kind of compute system or the oldest compute system that we have on AWS is the Amazon EC2, which provides you virtual servers in the cloud. It is just like doing a remote login to a particular server and then running your application. So that is what Amazon EC2 provides you. But that is not the focus for this tutorial series. In this tutorial series, we'll be focusing on AWS Lambda, which lets you run the code without thinking about servers because it is serverless. So that is what we're going to talk about in the next video onwards, like what is AWS Lambda, what is serverless concept and so on. But for now, let us like, take a look at some other things that AWS provides. So in the database section, you have the Amazon DynamoDB, which is a managed NoSQL database. And if you want a SQL database, then you have other options like Amazon RDS and the Amazon Aurora. So these are the different kind of databases that you can get. And other than that, you also have the storage so in the terms of storage let's say you want to store some documents somewhere or some images that you want to store so for that there are multiple solutions and the main solution is s3 which is amazon simple storage service so what i will try to do in this particular tutorial series is to um accommodate um the accommodate most of the essential services that you need to make a rest api so that we get a hold on all of them so there are over 250 products so we can't go over all of them so we are just gonna with the most basic and the essential ones so yeah so this is what aws provides you um let us talk about how we are gonna uh, get started with aws so of course you need an aws account and if you are a student then you can go with aws educate program so what aws educate program does is that it will provide you a kind of a starter account so in the starter account that account is actually managed by some third party um, or some other company so they will provide you some aws accounts with some credits and once those credits are over that aws account will get closed automatically so if you just want to learn something on aws then this is the best option for you if you are a student and you can just join aws educate and other than that the other option is aws free tier so in the aws free tier you um, gain free hands-on experience with the aws platform products and services so a lot of offers are provided like uh, you are not charged directly you get 12 months free or some other kind of offers are also there so you can use some aws services for free up to a limit so that is what you are getting by creating a free tier account so if you do that then that is also a way to go so yeah, so these are the two options that you have for creating a new AWS account for this tutorial series. So from the next video onwards, we are going to get started with the actual stuff, the important stuff. So if you still have doubts regarding AWS, you can put them in the comment section below. That's it from this video. Thanks for watching.